Hi folks and welcome to the new shack and, uh, and to a new video and tonight I'm going to show you a little project that I've been working on the uh, last few weeks um, just to keep myself busy and it's this for the audio files amongst you you'll recognize it as a valve stereo amplifier and uh, I'm just going to quickly uh, show you what I've done and how I've built this and uh, give you a quick demo. I'm quite pleased with it. It sounds uh, quite good, even by my standards. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is we'll take a quick closer look at it and uh, switch it on and see if it all works. So here it is. This is my uh, homebrew stereo amplifier. All the uh, valves, as you can see, and uh, what we're going to do is take you through it. It's all pretty standard circuitry. It's um, it's basically based on the uh, Mullard 520 design with a few modifications. And uh, so we'll take you through the various stages and I'll show you underneath. So all this along here we've got, this is the high voltage supply, the high voltage transformer, you've got a choke and a filament transformer for the heaters of the valves. The back here we've got um, an output transformer because all the, these valves, these output valves which are EL34s are ranged in push-pull and so these are standard um, uh, output transformers and running uh, about 30 watts per channel so we've got each we've got uh, left and, and right uh, for each channel and just to sort of give it this finishing touch we've got a couple of EM81 uh, tubes which are uh, what they call magic eye tubes to act as VU meters and then those are basically the um, well volume controls but they're really actually the gain uh, potentiometers uh, of each channel and uh, simple power switch and that's about it um, just give you a brief look at the valve lineup uh, so the first stage is a uh, EF86 standard pentode, audio pentode, and then the next one here is uh, ECC83 or 12AX7 um, double triode, which acts as a, um, a phase splitter. So it's all all pretty standard stuff. So what we'll do, um, we'll have a quick look at the underneath and see all the uh, circuitry that I've done. So there we are. I've got the thing up on its end now, and you can sort of have a quick look at the um, the layout. Um, I mean it's all point-to-point -point wiring, there's nothing really special about it. Um, down the bottom here we've got um, this is a diode bridge for the HT, a um, couple of capacitors in series um, which is wired to the choke which is on the other side. Uh, then we've got um, the transformer over there is actually for the bias, the negative bias for, uh, for the valves, for the output valves. Um, we've got all the transformer wirings coming in there uh, onto that bit of tag strip. Um, standard um, poly caps um, used throughout, really. Um, nothing special about those. Um, and then on this side here, we've got our uh, EM81 uh, circuitry for the VU meters. Um, so it's all it's all pretty uh, standard. I mean, the main rules, if anybody's contemplating building uh, something like this, the main thing is is the earthing. The earthing is quite critical on an audio amplifier. You've got to have a single bus bar, which goes to a single point on the chassis. Um, normally, in RF um, transmitters and things like that, you you can get away with earthing things to chassis. But uh, unfortunately, with audio equipment, you've got to have it at a single point. Otherwise, you get ground loops and all those sort of problems which will cause hum and distortion. So um, that's more or less it. Let's see what it sounds like. Right, let's see if we can get some music out of this thing. Uh, I've sort of plugged in the computer and um, hopefully we'll see if it all works. I'll turn the gain up a bit.
bit of interference coming through on, on the computer, I think, but it doesn't sound too bad. and the M81s look quite nice actually. Well, there we are. I think that's uh, quite a nice demonstration. Uh, it seems to work quite well, actually. Uh, works better with sort of uh, sort of more traditional type rock music, I think, rather than classical. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to putting up another video of the next project.